over today how you can enter a chemical into ChemTracker with a barcode or RFID tag. Now what you'll need for this, you'll need your chemical. Today we have a container of butane fuel we're going to be entering into our inventory. You'll need your labels. We have simple pre-printed barcode labels for use today, as well as a scanner. Now I have a wired scanner that I'm going to be using. You can also use a Bluetooth or other type of wireless scanner with ChemTracker. There's no specific requirements on the type of labels or scanner that you need today. Anything that has right a standard form with numbers, even letters, will be util utilizable with the system. Now first, let's find that chemical we're going to enter. Again, we're going to be entering butane today. So we're going to go ahead and find butane in the ChemTracker chemical database. We'll go ahead and select that here. I'll then select the name of the group that's going to own this container, so maybe our product testing center. From there, I'll select the room where this chemical is going to be stored. We're going to store it in room 205, building 232. We're going to the size of the container. This was an 8-ounce can. So we'll go ahead and enter those units in here. We only have one container of butane. Now I could enter additional details if I wanted to, any more specifics about where this container is stored. Maybe we'll enter a, an expiration date here, for example. And let's go ahead and add that barcode number. So I'll put my cursor right where that container ID signal is. I'm going to take my barcode labels here. I'll go ahead and scan the first one. Went ahead and scan that in. It's going to create that container. I'll then peel that label off and go ahead and attach that to my chemical container. And our inventory is already in. Today we're going to show what you can do with a barcoded chemical once you find it. So let's say I found this container of butane fuel. I see it has a barcode label right here that I know that someone on my team already applied. Let's see what we can do to find where that chemical is supposed to be. So on my chemical containers page, I have an option to scan this and scan a whole bunch of container IDs if I wanted to. I'm going to scan this one in particular. And it's going to go ahead and show me, right, I have that container ID here. And it went ahead and found that container. So I can see that this bottle of butane, I can see right who it belongs to, where it's stored. I can even access SDS and hazard information if I wanted to as well. Um, from here, I could also move or edit that container. As soon as I have that barcode or RFID tag, I have all this data accessible here.